Hi everyone. In this lecture, we're going to talk about the select distinct statement. The select distinct statement extracts only the unique data, excluding any redundancies, as opposed to the select uh, statement where extracts all, all occurrences, including repetitions. So it works in the same way as the select statement, but it is just going to extract only the unique data. What do I mean by the unique data? So if I come in here and if I let's grab the employees table. So if I just click on it, there we go. You can see that uh, the uh, repetitions means that let, you can see that here we have department ID one and then we have two occurrences of two and then we have four, five, threes or six threes in here. So these are like whenever you do select statement department ID, it is going to grab all of these occurrences, like all the repetitions of three. But the select distinct only grabs the distinct uh, records. So first off, let's go ahead and let's take a look at that. So we are going to say select. The select distinct also extracts data, the read part of the CRUD functionality. So if I say star from employees table, and if I run this, it is going to grab all it is going to extract all the employees table but we only we are only interested in the department id so we need to specify our column uh, copy that and comment this one out let's come below and i'm going to convert change it to five so let's say we only want the department id department there we go id let's hit enter and now if you select it you can see that we have multiple repetitions of those and there is a lot of rows but what select distinct does for us is it only selects the unique data so and the way that it works is after the select you're going to write distinct in capital and hit enter let's run this code there we go so you can see we only have one two three four five six seven we don't have any repetitions when it comes to the select distinct I'm going to give you one more example as well, and that is going to be example number seven. So let's copy this. Let's come down, and I'm going to say example number seven. Let's say we want to grab all the manager IDs from there. So I'm going to say manager, manager underscore ID. Let's save this file. Let's run it. There we go. You can select more than one column with this select distinct as well. So you might say, okay, I want to grab the first name. Then I want to grab the last uh, name. Then I would like to grab the manager. There we go. ID. Let's save this and let's run it. So we have Stephen King with a manager ID of no. We, know, we have Nina... I'm not sure how this is pronounced 100 and then we have Lex, we have Alexander, Bruce and whatever. There we go. So you can select multiple columns with the select distinct as well. You can select, I'm going to give you one more example. You can select all the columns as well. So I'm just going to provide in star run this code there we go but keep in mind that whenever you do this, you get the, the basic result, the table um, all the repetitions with that so you can see that we have nine we have six the reason for that is you did not actually specify which column it is when you whenever you use the star it, it grabs all the table and it doesn't have the capability of course you can do this with some conditional operators in SQL but that is going to complicate a lot of stuff so and this is a rare case that you want to select a table and you only want to select the distinct data from that table this is a very very rare case uh, in in common um, the common thing that you might want to do is you want to might want to select a column or like two three columns and you only want to select the distinct data from there but i'm going to keep this example right here that's it for this lecture again uh the previous lecture was long this is shorter these lectures are going to be shorter because in each lecture we are going to focus on one statement for the time being for this chapter as we move on we are going to talk about more and more and more complicated stuff the way that I envision this course impacting you is I want you to be like really job ready whenever you're done with this Python course. That's why I've made sure to include some real world 
company like uh, employer stuff as well uh, by the end of the SQL course you're gonna have three chapters where we're going to work with the SQLi database and we are going to connect it to a Python application. We're going to work with this MySQL database again, uh, MySQL uh, DBMS. We are going to work more in the uh, command line version of it. The command line version of it is whenever you right click and you say start command line and it is going to ask you for a password. So if I pass in the password Let's just hit enter. You can see it is MySQL. You can write any SQL queries that you want in here. So I'm going to show you how you can work with this command line as well, because this is a real world experience. In real world, you are going to work with this command line a lot. So you have to know your way around it. And whenever you want to go out of it, you just say backslash uh, Q and then it goes out. And um, and then the final chapter is going to be the Postgres, which is another DBMS, another very cool DBMS, which is really used a lot with Python applications. I'm going to show you how you can integrate it. Uh, SQLite database with a Python Python application. I'm going to show you how you can integrate a MySQL database with a Python application as uh, as well as uh, SQL Alchemy ORM, any object relational mapping that is very an object relational mapping that is very used in real world world SQL Alchemy. I'm going to show you how you can work with SQL Alchemy and SQLite, SQL Alchemy and MySQL, SQL Alchemy and Postgres. So you're going to have a lot of real world stuff. That's why I'm emphasizing on it a lot because I want you ha I want you to have job ready skills so you can apply for a job after you're done with this course and another reason that I'm emphasizing on this stuff a lot is because I want you to really study this because if you have like any doubts you will not be able to complete those advanced chapters they are really 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 advanced so you need to be very very comfortable writing SQL queries to the best of um, your abilities then you will be able to complete those chapters otherwise it's going to be like a nightmare for you so that that was just a heads up it took a few minutes but it was a heads up so make sure you practice and practice and practice a lot i know these are very basic but these lay the foundation for our most advanced work upcoming in our next chapters see you then